In this video, I'd like to talk about shared datasets and template apps. First of all, template apps. Now, there used to be a big get data sign in the bottom left hand corner. That's now been removed by Microsoft. If you want to get apps, you need to go to the apps in the navigation bar on the left hand side. So these are apps which are in your organization. And you can see here is an app that I've made separately. If I click on this app, I can run it. So I can look at various dashboard tiles. I can click on them. I can go to reports and I can expand and contract the reports and be able to click on items such as clothing and bikes. And then I could probably drill down if I so wish to into other reports. Now I can't actually edit this app as it's presented. It's read only. So if you had an app on your Android or Apple device, you wouldn't expect to be able to edit it here. And this is exactly the same thing. So these organizational apps have been created by somebody in your organization. If I just click on go back at the bottom left hand corner and they will have shared them so that you have access to them. Now you can do that too if you have got Power BI Pro or the premium capacity. So the way to do this is to go into a workspace which isn't my workspace, but another workspace. And you can select the content to go into the app and then you could click on create app. I've already got an app created. So the button currently says update app. Now you can download apps from third parties as well. So if I click on apps in the navigation pane, I can go to get apps on the top right hand corner. And this gives me a range of template apps which have been created by third parties. For example, maybe you want a COVID-19 US tracker app. So I can click on that app and have a look around some of the things. So screenshots, for instance. And if I want it, then I'll click on get it now on the left hand side. So I'll need to enter my details and then click on the get it now button at the bottom right hand corner. So I've filled in the details, phone number is optional and I click on get it now. So this then downloads the app and now I can click on install to install it into my environment. So you can see this could take a little while. And now my app has been successfully installed after about 10 or 20 seconds. So I can click on go to my app or I can click on the app's name if I'm in the app's screen. And here we can see my app with sample data refresh is in progress. And again, I can interact with this app just like I can with other Power BI reports. I now go back to the Power BI service screen. So that is how you install a template app. Next, data sets. So we've had a look at what data sets are. So if I go into workspaces and here you can see my new COVID-19 US tracker report workspace. If I go into another workspace, you will see in the tab data sets and data flows, we have got various data sets and data flows. And if I click on one of them, say the A data set, I can share it. So if I click on the share button at the top, I can enter the names or email addresses. So if I start typing, it will go through my organization and find a particular user. And I can allow recipients to modify or share the data set further, to build content with the data and send an email notification. Now, anything that has been shared with you will be shown in the data hub in the navigation pane on the left hand side. So here I've got all of the data sets that I can use. So all my data and those which are endorsed in my organization. So what does endorsement mean? Well, this is how you can promote your data sets to your coworkers. You can say, this is really good data. You should use it. So let's endorse another data set. So I'll go to my data. I could go to all if I wanted to, and let's endorse the A data set. So I'll click on the dot dot dot, which is more options to the right of the A, and I can go to settings in the context menu. So doing that gives me more options about that data set, including endorsement and discovery. 
So if I click on that, you can see, help coworkers find your quality content by endorsing this data and making it discoverable. So you could say it is promoted or you can certify, which may require a bit more setup. After all, not everybody in your organization should probably be able to certify data sets. Promote them to say this is good, but certified might be the next stage and only certain people in your organization should be able to certify. So I'll click on apply. It is now applying that endorsement. So let's go back to the navigation pane on the left hand side and click on data hub and endorsed in your org. And you can see that I am promoting the A data set and I have previously certified the dynamic RLS data set. I'm saying I'm an expert in this particular area. So this data set should be relied on by the entire organization. I want to promote its use among the entire organization, otherwise known as the tenant. So this is how you can look at shared data sets. First of all, you can go to a particular data set in your workspace. So for example, the A data set, and you can then share it. Then if I just go back, you can click on the dot 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 next to it and go to settings and you'll be able in the endorsement and discovery section to promote or certify it. And then you've got apps. If I go back to my workspace and go to the content, I can include specific content in my apps and I can create an app. You can then share it among the organization and then it will be visible in the navigation pane in apps if you've already got it installed. And if you haven't, you can go to the get apps button in the top right hand corner where you can download organizational apps and template apps.